change the color of markers also even I'm close little as you can see it's not able to detect in my finger you can see hi everyone welcome back in this video we are gonna learn about Aruko markers uh, in th this video will be included in two videos in the first video we are just gonna talk about Aruko markers how to detect them and how to create them with OpenCV in C++ and in the next video we are gonna make a project and I will share that project in github and maybe you can check that it it may inspire some of you and uh, Aruka markers you, you just see simply in here uh, just seven example of Aruka markers yes it's, it seems like a QR code but it's totally different than that and a specific uh, properties of Aruka markers is just uh, it's just in it's just formed with black and white boxes and it's just it has also different sizes for example this one one two three four five six six to six size and this one seven to seven size and this one four to four size it has different sizes according to the dictionaries we are calling each sizes as dictionaries we will see in the code part and also the other specific property of this is uh, it's surrounded with a black border as you can see here Aruco stands for Augmented Reality University of Cordoba. So you can just they are just putting these letters and we are reading as Aruco and is created by Professor Rafael and Sergio in 2014, which is just eight years ago. It's super fast and robust, simple and also accurate. Which this is my favorite one. It's really accurate. You will see in the code part also. And we use these Aruka markers in computer vision applications, pose estimation, robot navigation, augmented reality, and many. I did. I was not able to put a dolly here, uh, but these uh, areas we are using these Aruka markers, and they are really super fast, super accurate, and very good to use in our projects. Maybe you can think what's the relation with these those simple boxes, but you will see in the future. Okay. Let's pass on the code part. Basically, first of all, uh, before passing, maybe I should talk about this. You need to put uh, OpenCV Aruka header to here. Don't forget to put this. This is the important one. And just first of all, create uh, how to just create uh, Aruka marker example. Then learn how to detect them. First of all, like this, calling Aruka and dictionary. I talked before now we will understand more clearly what it is and then just calling Aruka again get predefined dictionary which is already defined before and call inside which type of dictionary you need dictionary uh, okay maybe I don't need to write like this dictionary okay these are our dictionaries uh, let's start with 6 to 6 and 100 uh, what does this mean? Let's go on control and left click and we are here now These are predefined dictionaries in OpenCV in Aruko and what those are means this for example Let's talk about this one four times four means uh, The height and width is included with four those black and white boxes I showed in the beginning some example and 50 is the marker size inside at all so if you choose this uh, all of those will be uh, included in 4 height, 4 times height, 4 times width and 50 marker types inside different marker types inside and 4, 4 is also included with 100 marker types inside uh, increasing the marker size will be decrease will decrease the accuracy so people and I also prefer to use 50 if you don't have to use many markers because using the less marker size will give you more accurate results okay let's continue with the creating then next one just call Aruko again draw marker then just define dictionary uh, yeah just define dictionary we defined above then ID all of the marker inside that dictionary has an ID let's choose for example we defined 100 marker size we, we can choose ID until 100 let's choose 23 side pixels uh, I will talk after imshow maybe just give for now 200 
then output array let's define an array here cv mat image then image here okay then what else border bits this is the i said to you uh the each aruco marker surrounded with a black border so this is the thickness of the border that black border we can say just put default on one then we can change later then im show the our output which is image we defined also put don't forget to put with key and also define named window and let's see the result okay this is the 23 id output and for example this 200 uh, size we talk as you can see in here the uh, width, width and the height is equal to 200 that 200 means that the size of the image and this is one we defined that's why the uh, looks like one pixel only but it's one box is better to call then let's change it for example 10 it will be increased okay yeah now it's uh, according to the ratio of course the border size is increased by that this is basically how we create Morocco you can give different IDs for example 99 like this but if you give an ID more than 100 let's say even 100 it will give you an error because it's out of the uh, out of the size also but if you choose that if you increase that you can give 200 what else let's try 7 to 7 yeah these are different dictionaries different sizes you can define you can use okay this is how to how to detect aruco markers let's continue now with the detection make it command and after that just uh, detect aruco markers before that maybe we need less first of all call aruco detect markers first of all it's need an image then it's need a dictionary then it's need and corners for corners we need to define which is an array in this kind of and this array need to be type of point 2f is better and close and call it corners uh, then put corners to here what does it needs it needs ids i think it's integer if i'm not wrong and okay ids put ids to here what else you need uh, parameters and others just not really important for this video just close here uh, detect markers what is next draw detected markers okay how to draw them we already detect and output of this uh, function will give us the corners which is the rectangle points also which is the ids inside it's detected okay then draw now first of all call aruko detect draw draw detected marks okay this one image you wanna you wanna corners okay i already have corners then also arrays id arrays is integer i hope and scalar which scalar but this also only for borders let's let's don't define it's already yellow okay uh then we need to show this because it can give exception because of out of the size it needs to be bigger than zero if detected i mean then i already in here showed okay here an image in my folder before it has markers and maybe close this one open this one and see the result we don't see anything why we don't see anything let's see again okay one two three four five six this is six by six so we need to change it as this yeah now we see it's small id 11 id 16 id 21 so it's able to detect at all why not detecting this one because the in my opinion the left side little thinner than the right side so maybe it's not able to detect those kind of 10 
but it's able to detect in the middle. Okay, uh, let's give you an example with my camera also before closing this topic. Uh, how to do that? How to do that? Okay, I'll maybe make this in a while. Okay. Then create a video capture here and put it minus one, which is my lower resolution of camera. And after cap, just call image. Uh, close this. What else? Better put this out. What else? Image. Okay, create image and i think let's make it here, here one and let's see the result of my camera yeah let's make it bigger you see my camera even i'm rotating is very accurate very robust to detect you can see i think yeah it's able to detect as you can see then close it let's continue with something else uh, you see in the video the all of the color are blue so but I don't want a blue but unfortunately it does not give you an option to change the color of the text so in here I create simple for loop and let's open in it in here uh, is for image and just for this is fun just for changing the IDs let's see result again in my camera yeah now you are able to change the color of markers also even I'm close little as you can see it's not able to detect in my finger you can see uh, these are how detection is done with OpenCV and Aruk okay uh, also you can uh, draw rectangles I am just lazy to write that code you can just you, you are all of the rectangle points you have in corner arrays so you can just use them to create rectangle in different colors but if the color not important for you just use this predefined function to draw the markers uh, okay I think in this video we simply talk about Aruka markers and how to create them and how to use them in the next video we are gonna uh, use these markers in a project in a beautiful augmented reality projects and see you in the next videos